to Ukraine and the European Union, granting the war-torn country candidate status. It is a powerful and symbolic moment on the path to full membership that sends a strong message to Russia, and it all comes as the U.S. announces it will send another $450 million in military aid. Our foreign correspondent James Longman is in Ukraine with the latest on that. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, Amy. I'm at a sports complex here in Kharkiv. It was hit last night by a barrage of Russian rockets. Take a look at the level of devastation. Day in, day out, Russia is smashing this area. This, as we understand, Ukrainians are now withdrawing from Severodonetsk. This morning, a crucial fight in the battle for the Donbass in eastern Ukraine. Russia on the brink of claiming the entire Luhansk region, one of Putin's main objectives. The Ukrainian resistance battered in Severodonetsk. The local governor even saying it doesn't make sense to hold on, given the number of killed will increase almost daily. And as the battle rages in the east of the country, Ukraine is one step closer to joining the European Union. The European Council granting candidate status to Ukraine and Moldova for potential EU membership that could be years before they actually join the organization. This is a very defining moment and a very good day for Europe. President Zelensky addressing EU leaders, recognizing the importance of the decision, saying, you have made one of the most critical decisions for Ukraine for all 30 years of our country's independence. This comes as the first HIMARS artillery systems from the US arrive in Ukraine. The weapons are highly advanced medium-range artillery systems that can launch missiles up to 48 miles away. Ukraine hopes these will change the tide of battle in the Donbass region. Ukrainian Defense Minister warning summer will be hot for the occupiers. The Biden administration now pledging an additional $450 million in military aid to Ukraine, including even more HIMARS systems. The United States will continue to bolster Ukraine's defenses and support its sovereignty and its territorial integrity. Now, by joining the European Union, Ukraine can move out of Russia's shadow and cement its status as a sovereign state. Two things that Vladimir Putin will not like. Amy. All right, James Longman for us in Ukraine. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.